Luke and Nate here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel and today we're doing another fishing challenge. Today we're going to do the 10 species challenge where we try to catch 10 different species of fish in one day. You think we can do it? Yeah, okay, I just found. And he just found a fly. So he wants to try fly fishing. So we're going to do a little fly fishing here. Now, one thing I'm not going to do is any sort of micro fishing. I, I'm going to be using normal rods and reels, but I am going to start with bait. So I'm going to try to catch some pan fish here for bait to catch bass and catfish and maybe snakeheads. And uh, we'll just see what happens. All right, so you want to fish with your fly instead of worms, right? Yeah, fly. Okay, now even if it doesn't catch fish, you're going to be okay with that? Yeah. Nate's going to try this little fly we found on the park bench here. And I've just tied it to a to a bobber here so he can cast it. Let's see if that works. Okay. You hold on to that. Now that's a little bit bigger fly, so it may not catch the little fish that I'm gonna catch. But if something comes up and bites that hook, it's probably a bigger fish. Well, watch out, you're gonna get tangled up with me. Oh, oh! Yeah, look at that. Well, that's a little little bluegill, little baby bluegill. First species. And I forgot to bring my live well, so plop, he goes in a bucket. Gotta be careful though, those bluegill will jump straight out of a five gallon bucket. Oh. There we go. A little bit bigger bluegill. There we go. Another bluegill. There we go. Oh, what's this? What's this? Yeah, another, another bluegill. Oh, there we go. Is that a panfish? Yeah, a little. Another little baby bluegill. That's a great size for bass fishing. Oh ho ho! Another little bluegill. Oh, he jumped out. No, 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 no baby, no baby, no baby! I'm gonna shorten up my bobber and fish in the rocks. Usually I'll pull out a green sunfish if I do that. Dad, you got one! Oh, you do? Oh, oh look at this! Double! We got a double! I got a bluegill. What you got? Nate's got a bluegill too. Window down and your and all. Uh, yeah. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, and another bluegill. Oh, look at this little tiny guy. Little teeny tiny Dad, bluegill. Oh. There you go. Another bluegill. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes, a green sunfish right there. There we go. He ain't big, but that's species oh, number two. Double. You got one? Oh, pull him up, pull him up. That's a new species. Oh, look what you just got. That's my monster one. Look at that. That's a golden shiner. That is a massive, massive golden shiner. Let's, look at that. Let's go, Mom oh, I my got goodness. A golden shiner and my monster one. I got a golden sino! They are awesome and they look kind of like grass carp to me and they're actually kind of related to grass carp. Even they were golden so that's why they called Oh, but what, okay, why don't you go ahead and throw them back. Whee! I oh, believe oh. the frog! Oh, he's swimming off. Oh. So in 10 years of fishing here, I've only seen one other golden shiner caught and that was in a cast net. So Nathan, high five for the rarest fish so far today. Haha! <laughs> reel them up, reel them up! Daddy, I was just going to take milk spots, but then when I was joking it, the wheel, then I was going to wheel it up. I got this. That's how I. Look at that. That is a big bluegill, and he's got all of his colors. Another bluegill. Look at this. What is this? What is this? Whoa! Now that that's a bluegill, but look at the colors on him. You catch one? Yeah, bluegill. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. Oh, we're getting down to our last worms here. We got 
Another bluegill. I usually catch a ton of yellow belly sunfish here and I'm just holding out for one. Come on, a sunfish. Give me a sunfish. Give me a sunfish. I'll take pumpkin seed, yellow belly sunfish, white crappie, black crappie, anything. Oh, it's a bluegill. Oh, I lost my hook and I lost my last bit of worm. Well, we caught a ton of bluegills, one green sunfish and one golden shiner. So we're up to three species and we're completely out of worms and I lost my last hook. So I think it's time to try fishing for something else. Wow. All right, so we got about 20 bluegill in there. We got plenty of bait. Two things, Nathan wants to fish with the floating frog, which frankly is a load of fun, I don't blame him. And I'm gonna fish with live bluegill here. And I could catch a lot of different things, largemouth bass, catfish, bowfin, gar, uh, snakeheads, they're all possibilities. So I've got this little green sunfish here on a four-aught shiner hook. And I've got a, about a half ounce sliding lead to kind of keep it keep it down low and then I've got a bobber right here. I'm going to adjust this bobber a little bit. We're going to be fishing pretty shallow. It's uh, spring and a lot of the bass are bedding so they're they're in a lot shallower. And I'm going to do something I don't do very much. I'm going to bust out my electric uh, motor here. I also got this big fat shad lure here on my Daiwa Zillin rod and reel combo here. So I've got the boat grounded. I just kind of backed up into this little reed bed, then used my uh, power tilt on my motor to use it like kind of like a hydraulic jack to keep it stationary. We've got a live bluegill right there on that catfish rod. Ponco bait, carp rig, ponco bait, carp rig, live bluegill underneath a bobber over on those flats, another carp bait right over here, and a peanut butter jelly sandwich for me. A little, got a little clickety click on the bait clicker over here. Well, I think we're in a good spot. It's just a little bit of a waiting game. Saw a big carp just come out of the water and roll his fin just beyond my bobber over there. And one was right up in these reeds. That's all shallow. That's only like a foot and a half, a foot of water right there. Over there in the shallows, I can see fins sticking out every once in a while. There's some carp in really shallow. It's it's right around the time of the spawn. So they're they're probably over there getting busy. Oh, 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 we got one. Nathan, you want to get him? Nathan, do you want to reel him in? Yeah. Reel fast, for faster, faster. Oh, oh. oh it's a big one. That is a big channel catfish. Look at him though, look at that nasty sore on the side of his face. Yeah, he, oh, he had a nasty infection. You could, you could smell the rot coming off him. Whew. Take it, I was getting some hits and uh, the head of my fish is gone. Oh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's probably a turtle is what that is. Oh, we got a carp or something. Oh. 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 Oh! Yeah, it's got a, uh, gray. Had a nice fish on there. He did a solid run, then he popped the hook on me. So we're gonna chuck it back out there and see whether we can catch him. That was probably a carp. Oh, look at this right here. Oh, is this still on? Looks like I probably lost my bait. Yep, stole my bait. Oh. Oh. 
soon as I put serious pressure on it, it popped out. He probably had the fish and not the hook. Daddy, oh. they found the old. Oh, what a beautiful sunset fish. Oh, yeah. Oh. There we go. That's species number five. A nice, nice common carp. Look at that. Woo. Now and the I'm, big fish of the day. Even I, Sunset, man. This is magic time. All right. Let's get a snakehead or a bass or something. There we go, nice little double. One caught on Ponco and sweet corn, the other one caught on a live bluegill. And the bigger one's on the Ponco. Catfish love my Ponco bait. Look at that little tiny uh, piece of sweet corn right there in the corner of the mouth. Nice channel catfish, and another channel catfish. Man, I wish that one of those was a flathead. Do you have a good time, Nathan? Yeah. <laughs> good. Oh guys, it's past Nathan's bedtime. I think it's time to call it. This has been a little bit of a bust, but it was fun. We caught five of the 10 species I was gunning for. I was hoping for snakehead, flathead, um, largemouth bass, yellow sunfish, white crappie. And those are the five that I was hoping to get. Um, but I also could have gotten a gizzard shad if I'd thrown the net, but you know, uh, I, I didn't even bother this time. And uh, we could have picked up a gar, a bullhead, and some other kind of miscellaneous species as well. And I really wanted a snakehead. This is a great spot for snakehead. So uh, I think we'll have to try this again another time. But this is uh, quite the challenge, trying to get 10 different species in, in, uh, in one day. And, and uh, I think we just, but I think five is respectable. Five is respectable, but definitely a fail. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more challenge videos, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to our fishing challenge playlist and, and all that. And, but anyway, thanks for watching. hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys next Saturday morning.